In this video we will look at the areas and perimeters of parts of a circle. We will cover circumference and area of a circle, the length of an arc, the area of a sector, the perimeter of a sector and the area of a segment. We looked at the formulas for the circumference and area of a circle in the video Parts of a Circle. Here is a quick recap. The circumference of a circle is given by 2 times pi times r, where r is the radius of the circle. The area of a circle is given by pi times r squared. An arc is part of the circumference of a circle. The arc is defined by the angle A that it makes at the centre of the circle. A full circle has a circumference of 2 pi r, and we know that there are 360 degrees in a circle. An arc of angle A is a fraction of the circumference. That fraction is A divided by 360. So the length of an arc is A over 360 times 2 pi r. We can cancel out the factor of 2 and write this as A over 180 times pi r. A sector is part of the area of a circle, again defined by the angle it makes at the centre. Similar to the arc length, the area of a sector is A over 360 times the area of the full circle. Since the circle area is pi r squared, the sector area is A over 360 times pi r squared. We can also find the perimeter of a sector. Here is what the perimeter looks like. The trick here is to split the perimeter into three parts. The curved part is an arc of the circle. The two straight lines are both radii of the circle. So the perimeter of the sector is equal to the length of the arc plus two times the radius. We already know the length of an arc. So we can write out the full equation for the perimeter as A over 180 times pi r plus 2r. A segment is a part of the circle that is cut off by a chord. Once again it is defined by the angle it makes at the centre. Finding the area of a segment is slightly more complex, but we can break it into two parts that we already know about. A segment is like a sector, but with a triangular part removed. The area of the segment is equal to the area of the sector minus the area of the missing triangle. The sector area, we already know, is A over 360 times pi r squared. The triangle area can be found from the standard equation for the area of a triangle, half BC sin A, where B and C are the two sides of the triangle, and A is the included angle. In this case, both sides are equal to r, so the triangle area is half r squared sin A. We find the area of the sector by subtracting the area of the triangle from the area of the segment. This formula can be simplified like this. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can find more resources at graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.